Oh, he's here. Okay. Take it, I don't have to chase you around. Yeah, he's a, always been one of the bigger birds, Whoa. bigger chicks. Yeah, you can see he's quite impressive now. Oh, look, his tail is finally coming through his tail feathers. That's been very, you know, he's one of these late developing birds. But look at that. It's just down balls falling off everywhere. There we go. Yeah. See, it's, it's interesting. You can see how the down is first and then the the, the actual feathers come in. Okay. <laughs> he's trying to, he's trying to do a practice flight. <laughs> That's what he's trying to do. No, you're not. Yeah, look at that. Look at those wings. I can actually feel the lifting power already. Wow. So yeah, so this, this is uh, Jeremy Medeiros and uh, JP Ruja coming to you from Nonsuch Island, Bermuda. Um, this is May the 10th, uh, 2024. It's been a little bit since we've done one of these checks with our Kahal Cam 1 um, check. Uh, as you can see, he is really on the final stage of development, maybe only two weeks or so away from fledging out to sea. Uh, you can see the wings are really going, <laughs> really growing in size every day now. They're growing at the rate of about a centimeter every two days at this point. And um, I can actually do one of my first assessments, which is plumage, which is the facial feathers are fully out and white. The wing feathers are just about fully emerged now. And the tail feathers are just starting. And you're starting to see the first signs of, um, of flight feathers on his shoulder as well. You know, this will, in the next day or two, this will be completely down free. So it's just slopping off that, um, that down at the, you know, quite a rate of knots now. And, uh, another week or so and he'll be mainly down free except for maybe a bit on his head and his belly uh, the rest of it will be all these beautiful flight feathers coming in it's interesting this bird i don't know it's still a bit early to sex it but looking at the bill you can see the bill is sort of stuffed with down so i'm getting that out of its nostrils um, you can see the nostrils on top of the bill now the the beak it's uh, almost looks like a jet intake and that's what gives its name to this family of seabirds, tubino seabirds. Albatrosses and shearwaters are in the same family. And um, it, those nostrils are that size for a reason. There are glands in there that um, enable the birds to drink seawater directly. And the uh, glands act like little reverse osmosis plants. And it distills out the fresh water from the seawater that the bird can use. And then it sneezes out drops of very salty brine, what's left over. Um, you know, out those nostrils in the end. And the nostrils are also thought to have a, of an important part in, um, in them being able to fly so efficiently over the waves and everything. It, it's, it's like the pitot tubes on an aircraft. It helps them to determine um, wind direction and speed as they come over the tops of waves. So I'm going to get a weight for them. Feels fairly robust. I don't think it's been visited in a couple of nights, but I might be wrong there. It's still well over 300 grams. It's at the stage where it's peaked in weight. And now it's starting to have to slim down because it has to be below 300 grams to fledge successfully out to sea. But um, it still has to be above 260 grams to fledge successfully. So this bird reached a peak of almost 435 grams. So it's, it's obviously past that. Now it's backing out. Some of them are escape artists, including our Cajal Cam bird. So I'm just going to put him back. Yes, you're just going to make things longer. Yeah, so he is 353 grams. So that's 333 grams. Okay. Fantastic. That's, that's a perfect weight for this stage of development. Now, the interesting thing will be um, the wing cord, because I know this bird is over 190 so I think it's going to be time to band um, our cow camber too. You know, we'll put off the naming for a little bit still, but uh, yeah, I think I am going to band this one today. And I think that's probably all we're going to have time for. Yeah, he's up to 215 millimeters. So yeah, he's past time. 215. So, let's see, this is going to be 
E0909. So it's actually kind of a cool number. 0909. So just turn them over. It's, this, it's just a thistle here, so we get rid of that. Yeah. It's very talkative right now. Yeah, that's actually perfect. Sometimes it can be really hard to find a leg in all of this down. So E0909. So I'm going to put it around his leg. Put the banded pliers on. And if you do this properly, you will never even touch the leg with the pliers. The pliers, all it does is it crimps the band over the leg. So that it's a nice tight fit and there's no sharp edges. There, all done. And you can see the band is nice and loose on the leg, so it's not going to chafe or anything of that. It moves up and down and around, and that's just where you want it, really. And it'll count for any further growth as well for that. Great, so it's all done. As far as plumage goes, it's face, wings, tail, and almost shoulders. Now, yeah, yeah, shoulder, yeah, I, that's, that's, as long as it has a bare patch of any size, then I can put that down. So, yeah. So our Kahal Cam uh, chick is growing up. I am going to take a little bit of down out of his eye. It was actually in his eye. Because I know it would, it would bother me if I had some of this stuff in my eye. Yep, that eye looks, uh, that eye's got a little bit too. So sometimes I actually have to bring Optrex out or a cleansing fluid to get the stuff out of their eye. There we go. Okay, yeah. Now it looks a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> now, if you if you kept, if you stopped trying to fly down, I would give you a little bit more leeway. There we go. Yeah, but he he is growing fast, and he is he's going to be, I think, out of here uh, probably within about fourteen or fifteen days, maybe maybe a little bit more. But his developing fast is on his last stage of growth. Okay, so I think that's, that's all I need to do, really, at this point. Um, he looks good. He's at a good weight, perfect weight, actually. Good stage of development. And uh, I think the only thing that will come up soon is uh, we're going to have to flip coins to see whose daughter gives uh, the name to this one. It's, it's sort of a, a thing between us. You know, one year it's my daughter will name him, then the next year JP's will some years we have two chicks in the Kahal cams, and so that, that solves that problem. But I don't know, maybe we should just flip a coin this year. We'll see. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, yep, let me get him back in the bar. Yeah, and you can see he's filling up more and more of the burrow now. He really is. They start out almost lost in this burrow, this tiny little, little gray fluff ball. And at this point, um, you know, almost reach full size at this point. It's, it's not going to take very much longer. Okay, so uh, the weather is already turning bad. It's supposed to have a near gale force winds tomorrow. So we've taken this opportunity to come out, check a few of them. And uh, I'd like to thank you all for joining us today. And we'll be back again soon because uh, things are going to happen very quickly now with our with our this year's cohort of uh, Kahal Chicks in their final stage uh, to pledging out to sea. So all the best and we'll be back soon. Uh, all the best uh, to everybody from Nunsuch Island, Bermuda and everybody have a great day.